Nobody has absolute proof of anything. You can't even prove that you're sitting here, and you know it. I so can't? No. Uh, well, I can I could prove very easily right now. Uh, so uh, we get very, back here. What, no, 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 what we're doing is getting off on a wee little problem here that is not related to what we're talking definitions of terms. No, it is not a talk problem of definitions of terms. It's, you, a, it's a red herring, no, no, which you, takes away from the central subject. Mrs. Murray, what you say is this. You say agnostic means so-and-so, yeah. and there's no such thing as an well, agnostic. Wait, let me let me just enter in here a moment while we're <laughs> the the no the no. She did not say she's an agnostic. She so said there's no such thing. She said she's agnostic. an atheist. Now, do you want to debate that one? Now, I'm going to discuss atheism with her, but, but her usage of agnostic... But that's what she claims she is. Wait, but her yeah. usage of agnostic, <laughs> you see, mm. puts you at a disadvantage when you start to talk about atheism, because there's a very distinct difference between the two. Now, Bertrand Russell... Well, the... I want to play with my definition to like tonight. How do you like them apples? I don't care what your definition is. I want to play with my definition, and I want people to know what I think that definition is. And Could I ask you a question? Tonight. Could I ask you a question? Yeah. Don't worry you about your ignorance by one word. Don't worry. God, don't God worry didn't. about him. Don't worry about him, because he's going to be president at your funeral. You know, one of the things that happens constantly, and uh, this is a funny thing, is that the Christians and religionists have absolutely no sense of humor. Hold on a moment, please. No sense of humor at all. You can't joke with them about their religion at any level. You can't tell, uh, you can't um, uh, have uh, religious cartoons or religious jokes, everything. It falls flat in their face because these uh, people are so Mrs. seriously intent on their insanity. Murray, can I ask you a question? You're interrupting me. This is That's always the New Testament according to St. Martin, but all the time. What about according to the people that wrote it? You're not, you can't speak for them. Well, I'm quoting the text. You cannot speak for them. First off, you don't even know whether that text is accurate. Well, and then you know. keep quoting Greek when you, uh, we're I dealing with one, Jews. I quoted one word, and quote, that, that shows... So this, the no, it means, it means that there was at least at least a minimum of one translation Mrs. Mur Mrs. Murray, from the Jewish Mrs. Murray, th uh, of that particular Mrs. era. Murray, since we're now on the subject of texts, what was the New Testament written in? What was the language? I would be delighted to find out. You do you don't have know? any idea? You no. Do you? And this this New Testament Greek. that you have, oh, and this was this was yes. written the first year after G J.C. Madam, you know, Chris in the history of the world, any other time what in the world, Mrs. Murray, are you contributing? I'm contributing, I hope, some reason. We have a person on the phone. Would you compare yourself, of course, to our uh, well, Lord favorably? Yes, yes, well, we oh, have. listen, I wouldn't even let him lick my boots. Jesus Christ has not influenced the total world uh, because Christianity has a very small hold on a very small part uh, of the uh, or total world population, and it always has. It's been extremely localized in Europe, uh, and... Uh, they, Track from it. You asked me a question, I answered it. I'll answer it now. There are numerous proofs for the existence of God, and uh, I feel that one of the greatest of all proofs is uh, existence itself. Uh, I believe that we live in a universe which can be observed and which can be measured, and about which we know, or can know, a great deal. Not a, as much as we think we know, but we know a great deal. Now, there are only four possibilities for the existence of the universe in which we live. Either the universe is spontaneously generated and emerges from nothing, which is uh, completely rejected by physics and by every law that we've ever been able to observe. From nothing, nothing comes. Secondly, the universe is illusory. We think it's there, and it really isn't. But this is rejected by scientists simply because we can predict the movement of heavenly bodies, and you can't predict the movement of illusions. Or the universe was eternal. It always was here. Now, if the universe always was here, I'm using Einstein now because this is one of the points that he and other scientists have brought out and confirmed, and others, many more on the subject. If the universe is eternal, then it would have the same energy that it had at its uh, initial uh, eternal existence. And we would not find a dissipation of energy. But we do find a dissipation of energy, and the second law of thermodynamics tells us that we are losing energy. We are losing energy in the form of heat. And this heat ends in cold, maximum entropy. Therefore, the universe is not eternal. It is cooling off, and it was greater in energy at its creation than it is at this present moment. I want to say one thing. Well, do you let me finish? You, you let me finish? I'm drawing that. Four points. Four points. Three. I asked. 
war, finally, the universe was created by a force infinitely greater than itself. And as far as Christians are concerned, this is the God of the Bible. And the revelation of Scripture is that he created the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Mrs. Murray. One of the fascinating things that I have found out in debating religion is particularly fundamentalists such as the... Uh, uh, Oh dear, I've forgotten your name. I'm not a fundamentalist either. You forgot Reverend Martin. No. Here. No, basically you are. Is the Baptist come up? minister and director of the Christian Research Institute in Wayne, New Jersey, the Reverend Walter Martin. Uh, they have come up with an idea that has traditionally belonged to the materialists, and that is that the world exists. And from this, they tried to derive proof that uh, uh, the world uh, uh, was brought into existence by God. And they always give these four uh, definitions of existence. And always the first one violates the last one. Because the first one says that from nothing, nothing comes. And the world could not have been uh, spontaneously generated. And then they go back and they say, however, God spontaneously generated the universe. And he created it from nothing. Because he existed. Yes, who was his mother? Ah, uh, now you're to the point that's interesting. Who was his mother right. and who gave all him right. the energy? Right. Who gave him okay. all the molecules, all right. the, uh, okay. the protons, the electrons, right. the neutrons? Good. You see, that's one of the simple from nothing, questions to answer. nothing comes. All right. It's a very simple question. No, so he had to have some material in order to, to create this. And what you have to do is what we atheists have to do. You have to commit to, to actually admit your complete ignorance about uh, the universe, whether or not it has been existing or whether it was spontaneously generated or whether it wasn't, you have to say along with us that you don't know from nothing. Uh, wait, 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 let's, let's find it out. I don't because your I answer is always I gone. Know, I don't have to say that I know nothing from nothing because, first of all, you will be the first to admit, I'm sure, that from nothing, nothing will come. Except, of course, in God's case. No, would you just answer that question? From nothing, no, nothing wait, will come. Do you know, do you know the well, I'm a mind reader. No, you're, you're a mind reader, all right, but listen, no. listen for a second. Now. I know your arguments in advance. Yeah, th well, if you do, then you must be deity. You can't know my arguments in advance because you've never done Go ahead them. and give them facts. I'm least. perfectly willing to hear all about Stalin all over again. I'm, I want you to hear about somebody else. I want you to hear about a man who gave copies of, I'm sure, one of your idols. Frederick Nietzsche's book, Man and Superman. No, I don't like yeah. Nietzsche at all. Yeah, well, he was the god as dead boy. And Nietzsche, I I don't care the idol of Adolf Hitler. The atheism of Nietzsche taught to the Wehrmacht and to the Germans. No, no. And no, produced no. the murder. No. The murder of World War II. Germany That's was the atheism a Christian produced. country down the line. No, don't you no, dare. No. If you like our YouTube channel, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and then by also clicking the bell above to get an automatic update whenever we produce another YouTube video for our Sea Answers TV channel. Please share our videos with your friends and relatives. May God bless you. Only one life will soon be passed. Only what is done for Christ will last. To see the full length video, please select by tapping on the first screen to the right. To see the entire playlist where this particular video is found, select by tapping on a touch screen on a cell phone or by clicking on a regular computer. The second screen to the right.